100 chillin', one more again, 100 to join me for this year, Gullah Geechee Nation News. Look, y'all, who may got right, y'all? This is the Brother Manifest. 100 chillin', a year, study bottom online, with Happily Natural Day. You'll get them 50, 11 piece of email and thing for Happily Natural Day. This year, the fish you need for no. Brother Manifest, peace and blessings, how you peace, doing, peace, man? Peace, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? All Good right, all out, right. Man. So tell them, what is this Happily Natural Day thing all about? Man, Happily Natural Day is about loving yourself. Uh, we're dedicated to holistic health, cultural awareness, social change. Those are three pillars that we stand firm on. You know, getting your body right, getting your mind right, holistically, your whole entire being at oneness and wellness, optimal wellness. Then having an identity, having cultural awareness on who you are so that you can make a social change, making a change in the society and your community. Those are the three, that's the triad that Happily National Day stands on. We're here promoting loving ourselves as African people because, you know, for 450 years, we've been told that we were savages. We're told that we didn't have no culture, nothing to celebrate about ourselves. So we're here showing each other what avenues that we need to celebrate. What is it about African people that is beautiful? And you got vendors here that are representing crafts, arts. You have scholars here, activists here. You have health practitioners here. You have cultural preservationists here. It's a beautiful day, and we're all about lifting our consciousness up so that we can change our community from the inside out. See, now, honey, chilla. Well, so you have to have from it after that. <laughs> all you need for say, enough said, cause honey, chilla. This year, the work going on. Peace and many blessings, brother. Keep it going. Definitely, you know the Gullah Geechee Nation happy for be natural. Right. So we right here with you at Richmond, VA. Ah, oh, I know the Confederates never thought they'd see this day. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Happily Natural Day. And this year, the Queen Quinn behind the camera. But this year, the work going on. That's yes, it. Y'all be blessed. HappilyNaturalDay.com. Check us out. We'll take soon. Hopefully see you next year if you're not here right now. Again, we have to prepare before we send folks out into the field to do the work. If you don't prepare your seeds and everything else properly, you don't get a harvest. All right? So when I thought about it, I said, what seed is it that the Creator has me coming back in? The seventh year of this event, I was at the first one. Now this is the seventh, and seven is the number of completion. I said, so there's something I started in Richmond that I'm supposed to finish on this go around and pick up on a new. What is it? Creator said that saying the word happy and the other word they're using, natural. And this immediately came. Having assessed perfect purpose. Yeah. Okay? A black book? Yeah. I don't care where you go in the world. Black book is yeah. And we all understand that. Alright? Having assessed perfect purpose. Yeah. Yeah is your affirmation. Affirmation. Yeah. Scripture again in the Bible says, let your yeah be yeah, let your nay be nay. Alright? King James Version, of course, because that would be British English of the time. Here it is, yea, is you say definitely, yes, amen, I say. All of that is when black folk is say, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all hold conversations like that. Somebody said, man, they're just like, yeah. And you saw that sister, yeah. And then the brother, yeah. And so you come, yeah, man. No, I got you, yeah. Peace. Don't you we have a whole conversation. But that means we agree. And God agrees with what we do. So again, having a sense, we have to assess where we are. We can't just think we're perfect. You get better by assessing where you've been and where you're going. And then determining, am I still going the right way? Sometimes you suddenly go off track. Turn around, turn, move to the side, whatever, get back on it and roll. Having a sense, perfect purpose. Perfect purpose means God gave it to you. That's where the perfection comes. That's when God gives you a purpose. Not what you think you want to do this year. Perfect purpose. And then affirming, that's what I'm doing. Then you'll be happy. Trust me, I'm a living witness. You'll be happy doing it that way. You'll be happy when you're trying to figure it out. You will always be a cut off. You see? But to be natural is never avoiding truth. Understood reasoning 
and love. You do not avoid truth. You do not avoid understanding. You do not avoid reasoning. And you do not avoid love. I don't care what spiritual practice we participate in. Every one of them would agree the manifestation of love means you reach the center or the highest point of existence in being. When you know what love is, and I don't mean American version of love. I don't mean the Facebook version of love. I don't mean the tweet version of love. I mean agape. Unconditional. And that's what this event is about. Know thyself so you can love yourself. If you go to biblical scripture, Jesus only gave two commandments. Love ye one another, right? Love your neighbor as who? As thyself. But as I said to them last week at American Beach in Florida, the way some people love themselves, I don't want them loving me like that. Don't love me like that. But you don't know you. How you love you? I ain't never seen them out here love the people they don't know. And that's what messes people up, because they be talking that I love you when you just met them two minutes ago. And then when you know them for two hours, oh man, I got to get out of here. This person crazy. All right? Know yourself so you can love yourself. And when you love yourself, then it's easy to love others. Because you will start to find that you now only want to be around truth. You will find that people can reason with you easily. You aren't trying to dominate every conversation and everything that's going on. You will give someone the opportunity to share their viewpoint, to share their abilities, to share their skill set, to share their knowledge and wisdom, and so that we all can get together and understand the greatest proverb there ever is, is wisdom is the principal thing. So get wisdom. But if all you're getting, get understanding. So I like to say overstanding. But for the value of the English language, we use the word understanding. So again, never avoid truth. Understood reasoning. Once you understand what the person's saying, they're trying to reason with you. And then you understand you don't avoid it. You know how we like to get away from people who tell us the truth. So I might tell you what you about to do don't make no sense. It's not going to benefit you. But you don't want to hear that right now. You want them to be your cheerleader and not your friend. Because your friends pull your coat. Your friends don't let you get in harm's way. Your friends don't hope you go down. They're always there with love trying to reason with you so you will understand the truth. So that we all can be what? Happy. Because we now will be in a position where we are so in tune with the manifestations of God in our life that we can do nothing more than carry out our perfect purposes as individuals. And the happier people are in their own purpose and their walk in life, the better the collective is. So that's why you see again with the Delegation Nation flag, it's not just the colors, the blue for the indigo and the water, the green for the harvest, the gold for the black gold and the brighter day. But you see in the center of the tree, this is a family tree. This is human bodies, African bodies intertwined, ever connected, never dispersed and separated apart. Where do they fit? In the center of the circle. And in that center is where we get understanding. 